Uh, I'm Tiffany Bougie. Um, I'm a master's student in the Department of Forest and Wildlife Ecology at UW-Madison, and we're out on the Wisconsin River tracking wood turtle hatchlings. Um, so I actually started out as an intern for the DNR when between my junior and senior years of college, um, of my undergrad, so that was when the wood turtle project was sort of just starting. Um, and I did telemetry there with the adult turtles. Um, but then I went back to school and finished my degree and got hired back on to help with the turtle project, among other things. When we're doing nesting surveys, we'll come around and, and see if there are any like wood turtles actually just naturally laying eggs in here, or we'll move eggs that were laid like along the roadside, and then we'll put them in here because they have protection from predators and stuff, because most of the nests that are laid on, on the roadsides or in other natural areas, they, um, they just get predated right away because predators know where to look. Right now, it's, they're being reviewed from, for the Fish and Wildlife Service for listing. So they're trying to make a decision within the next, I think it's like five years or something. So that's kind of where a lot of the push for the research comes from too, trying to get you know, the Fish and Wildlife Service good data. Um, we just record the, the GPS location, so the coordinates, and then just like the behavior. So if it's basking or walking or feeding, um, and then the time. This hatchling telemetry project is sort of, well, it is the first telemetry project that's going year round. Um, so we just don't really know that much about hatchlings because they're small and they're hard to find. And it's hard to like put transmitters on them and even track them for long enough periods of time. So a lot of it is just filling in knowledge gaps. So yeah, basically this, this project is gonna, we're gonna track them for the whole year. So we're gonna get a yearly survival rate. And that's really what's gonna be the big contribution. And then with that information, we can sort of decide, you know, is protecting all of these nests really worth, you know, the time and effort if all the hatchlings die anyway? Um, and so, you know, if that's the case, then we can guide towards other management actions, um, like trying to reduce adult mortality or something like that. And the ones that are hard to find, it's, it's exciting when you actually do find them. So there's a few things you can do to help wood turtles. Uh, one of them is you can slow down at road crossings um, where there might be turtles present and just you know, try to avoid hitting them, especially around nesting season, which is in, in spring around June. And then you can also donate to the Endangered Resources Fund. Learn more about the wood turtle and other Wisconsin native species in the annual report.